Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something that I haven't ever shown on my channel before, and that is how I set up a gratitude spread in my memory planner. So let me show you what that means. Here is December all finished up, and this is looking very cute. But basically I just use this sticker book from EC, which is the Designer Sticker Book Edition 3, the monthly collection and some washi, and I also use some date dots. I use some from Nicole Hutch, and I just put together a, just a framework for me to put in my gratitude each day. So each day I write something that I am grateful for, either from that week or just in general or that day. Here is November. Um, sometimes I will put a, one of the little full boxes in between and just kind of overlap. I like to do that here. And these I always write on top of. So it's just kind of like an easy way because I'm using that little sticker book to kind of make it look cute. This is probably my favorite. It's just really adorable. And then I usually pick a pin. I don't know if I'm gonna use black or silver. I really like the silver in this one because it's kind of light, but I might wanna use black. I don't know. I will decide that in a moment. Um, it is a couple of days into January, so I can go ahead and fill in a couple of days of my gratitude, but I've had a lot of requests for this, so I did want to show you how I put this spread together. So I'm just going to make it flat or flatter, and we will get into this. So I'm going to speed you up a little bit, but before we do that, let me show you the washi that I pulled for this. I don't know how many I will use. Whoa. I don't know how many I will use, but I pulled these that they go really well with the sticker book. I always base everything off of this page. Oh, I didn't even show you this. Oh my gosh, washi is going everywhere. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be working with. You always get four strips. You get the day of the month in foil, not the day, the name of the month. You get some of these little dots. Um, this looks like a full box situation, I think. Yes, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might, um, I might put this on the first. I don't know. We're going to we're going to see how that works. And then I put down the big stuff first and then I fill in with the little stuff and then I just fill in with washi and these little strips. I usually do some across the top, so I'll go ahead and do that. But this is going to turn out really cute. I love this little book. These are always super handy for this purpose. So, I'm going to get started and I'll speed you through and I'll just kind of explain what I'm doing as I go along. Okay, so I'm working off of the theme of this page in the sticker book and so I'm going to use this washi just because I love it and I don't get to use it very often because it's silver and I don't use a ton of silver. So I'm going to start with laying down a big strip of that at the top and then I kind of fill in with some smaller pieces including the sticker strips from the sticker book. So I'm kind of laying down two bigger washies and then using the one from the sticker book as a little accent. And those are really hard to get down straight because they're so skinny and they kind of curl. You can see if you pull them up, they curl up, but they're always so vibrant and metallic and they always look really pretty. And it kind of brings everything together. I'm going to save any scraps that I have from those little strips and I'm going to use them in the spread and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Simply Gilded Washi is a little bit different because of the way that it is on the roll. So you kind of have to measure it out a little bit before you place it down. And then I always do something on the days that are not in the month. So usually I've just put washi over them or a sticker. In this case, it was enough space for some washi. So I went ahead and just used some more of those little strips and some washi. I don't get too fancy with this. I mean, this is a spread that I look at pretty much every day, but it's not something that I put a ton of time into. I just like it to look kind of pretty. And I, whenever I put down Simply Gilded Washi, I don't ever cover it up. So right there, I kind of like put the, um, the washi kind of up, or the little sticker above where the washi started. Okay, here's where I... I always um, white out the holidays. Usually I white out like the, the moons and stuff, but I forgot to do that this time. And I just start with the bigger pieces from the sticker book and I just place them down kind of wherever. I just like to space them out. 
so that they're not too close together. And I always like to use one in the sidebar, either covering up the month or just kind of like at the top like this. And then I start with the smaller pieces and just kind of fit those in. I'll put them like in between the days, either above or below or in between two dates next to each other. And then I put in these little boxes and the flags and I'll write directly on those. And then these little flags, I don't know what they're for, but I just put them again like in between the days or like in the boxes, either at the top or the bottom. Same with the little flags, I just put them in boxes and then I'll write next to the little flags. And then the deco pieces like this, I'm just fitting them in between the days so that I still have room in the boxes to write. Sometimes it does get crowded, but that doesn't bother me. I'll just write smaller. And then these little um, circle ones, these are the hardest to fit in for some reason for me. And I think because I wait till the end to put them in, but I just space those out too. And then whatever strips I have left, I'll just put them like at the bottom of the boxes like this. And sometimes I'll make a little flag, sometimes I won't. It just kind of depends. Or just like that, like I'll just make a little straight box and put it at the bottom of a day. It just kind of fills out the spread a little bit and brings it kind of together. And then I'll take some skinny washi and just place that wherever I have room. Okay, here are the date dots. So I had two colors I was going between and I chose the darker one because I kind of had an idea I was going to use a silver pen at this point. And I'm speeding you like mega speeding you through this part because it's hella boring. But these just kind of bring the whole thing together and make it all cohesive. And I love adding date dots. If like on the 24th, I don't have room for it, that's totally fine. I just skip it and I'll write in the space anyway. So here's where I'm kind of debating on my pen color. So I picked these three and then I kind of knew I was going to go with the silver just because I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. And for these bigger boxes like this, I wanted to write on it, but I totally ruined it because I didn't know what I was going to write and then it didn't have enough room on it and then you couldn't see it and I wrote over it with a different pen and then I tried a Sharpie in a minute. That didn't work either, so I will fix that in a minute. But I just wrote a little tiny journaling thing, um, but I will fix that in a moment. Here we go. I'm just cutting off the top and moving the whole thing up just a little bit. And I didn't want to rip the paper up, so I grabbed the undo. And uh, I'm going to let that dry and work on the other days in the month because it is currently Saturday. So I went for a walk yesterday. It was a gorgeous day. And then I went with brunch or went to brunch with my friends and then I got new bedding on Thursday. I always love getting new bedding. It just feels so good. And then I'm just moving this box up a little bit. And then on the second, I did a good yoga session. I'm trying to do yoga at least once a week. So here is what the finished spread looks like and it's all ready to be filled in. The um, only thing that I do on the sidebar is just write a quick little journaling um, section at the end of this month. So I'll do that later, but here is my spread. And that took me less than 30 minutes to put together. And mostly that's because I'm slow and kind of a perfectionist, but this turned out really, really cute. And I'm excited to see what this looks like. I think the silver was a good idea. I think black would have been too much and the silver is going to lighten it up a little bit and it's going to look real pretty and all that like sparkly beautiful all right so if you have any questions about this spread or my gratitude spreads or memory planner in general leave those down below but other than that i think we are finished if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and i'll see you next time bye